Hello everybody, Jason here from Sun Gaming with another episode of my playthrough of uh, Two Point Campus. We are currently on the three star. This uh, lovely campus. Be prestige five. Oh boy. Kind of a small room. Um, I think I might actually extend it so that I can fit more in there. So I think this is the one where you can stage it and stuff too. Huh. I don't like that. Come on, let me. in there because apparently we are very cold in there. There we go. So the heaters are in there. Let's go ahead and add some more stuff to it. Campus Radio. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms, narrating your coming-of-age story in all its awkward it post-adolescent glory. Here's a song that perfectly captures the mood. Robotics Open Day, Robot Poster Required. Some assessment score. All right, average staff happiness, upgrade 10 items. We need to get over here to this and we need to, oh, well, this is still going. So we'll fin finish that up and then we'll go ahead and start upgrading items. Let's go ahead and check out our staff happiness. Let's see what they're, let's see what they're missing. Profits. Please put your pencils down. Only kidding. Need some A grades in robotics, huh?
in the news mm. today. Students have been spotted eating what some are calling nice looking baguettes. Naturally, everyone is asking where they can get a nice looking baguette. We don't have an answer for you, but join us for some wild speculation later in the show. Gonna add some more dorms and stuff too. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. We just lost 20 students, but keep adding a few more. The yearly results are in. Wow. Didn't we do well? Another lecture theater. these buildings to get done. I'm going to add a... a little bit garden. That's pretty nice. Holy cow. So I think I might turn one of these into a dorm here. Theater. For construction. Pretty interesting buildings. Uh, let's go ahead and put a uh, lecture theater over here. up to 86. Oh, we do need a heater here. Students should check in before trying to learn. Five A's. That's good so far. Six thousand. Let me report. Staff happiness is going up. This one's just going to take a little the bit because we need to figure out. Now been published. Schedule your lives oh, accordingly. Staff happiness. Look at that. It's still going up, so. so we'll get there, Here's kind of. Wanda with the latest music trends. And staff members are already for training. Tapes are in. Yes, those little rectangular guys are all anyone who's anyone is listening to. They're fabulous. Streaming can go on forever, but tapes? Tapes end. Don't you see? They end. One minute there's music, and then bang, gone. Just like us. Oh, and they've gone out of style.
amount of profit there. The campus is expanding, even more than usual. Good amount of profits there. Failing students should work smarter and harder. What am I going to do with my life? I just don't know. Oh, deep printer. Uh, what? Come to an Orb Foundation Learning Center and replace your mind with the power of the Orb. Oh, amazing! I'll do that then. Thanks. Seems like we have plenty of fucking money. like that Does that work how do they get in and out I feel like that's I feel like that's too much dark throne morsel min machine Sorry. 
Oh, you know what? I got a heater. Get those heaters. We promised you speculation, and here it is. Our sources tell us that a van parked on the here and began to Some sell not only yep. baguettes, but a variety of pastries as well. One bystander described the shock. It just came out of nowhere. Next thing I knew, it was gone, and I was holding this really nice-looking baguette. What a day. There you have it. Lightning doesn't tend right, to strike close twice, on this, uh, but here's hoping for more research finally. pasty vans in our collective future. A little less. Decent profit. Not horrible. Janitor needed to unblock toilets. Lovely. So close on this. I need to hurry up and do that so I can upgrade stuff. Promotion. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna have to move. Jesus Christ, there's so much stuff in this classroom. Oh well. Come on. It's time for Spill the Tea, where we take some finely dried hearsay from our shameless county and strain it for all the precious nectar we can. Education Minister Tarquin Foxbridge is under scrutiny for describing Two Points youth as ambitionless nitwits. And I can see why. I can only hope that it's an abridged form of the full quotation. It would be remiss of him to forget that they are also loud, foolhardy, crass, smelly, and generally hopeless. So I was under the assumption that I needed to uh, go through and like upgrade certain things through the research, but it's actually I need to go actually upgrade the stuff that I've, <laughs> I've learned about. So this one's already updated. So all right, so we need another robo construction uh, class. Got 40 campus points. Classroom over here. start it. Looks like I got the average staff happiness up and we're at it's 95 of 100 it's just kids on campus. So it's just taking some time. Um, I know the average staff happiness will probably be something that's just kind of uh, done. Looks like we need some more beds too. So we just got our in upgraded uh, 10 items done, which is awesome.
results are now available. No unauthorized panicking. Okay, so it looks like the only thing we have to do is get the average happiness of staff up to 55, so I'm going to try to do that. We're back. Today's election sees incumbent mayor Tabitha Winsock take on all challengers. One such foe is Gumbo McNally. Yes, the cousin of Jumbo CEO, Jumbo McNally. Ms. Winsock has held a okay, steady, so some there. say we tedious just need to... lead in the polls over Mr. McNally. But what effect, if any, will his last gas speech have on today's proceedings? If you missed it, Mr. McNally finished a rousing 12-minute display with a story of how he once took a modest pile of change from his father and turned it into an impressive lunchtime spread featuring sandwiches, crisps, and sausage rolls. Oh, now that is impressive. Students should check in before trying to learn. Some food, dude. Right here. <coughs> <coughs> How's your happiness not going up? Schedule your lives accordingly. <coughs> Excuse me. Dear, dear. See, all these people are like up there. It's just for some reason we just can't get that 55%. I don't I don't know what's average staff happiness. Is. Very confused by all that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Oh, you. What are you doing? This from Michelle and Smogley. I Take spoke to Mayor Winsock after a Q&A once and told her that I'd written her a letter. She said that she remembered reading it, but I'd never sent it to her. So what? Did she break into my house? Or is she, like, telepathic, but just with post? What a lovely anecdote, Michelle. And aren't we lucky to have a mayor that's willing to go above as well as beyond? Ooh. OK. 
Come on. taking a break. All these teachers be taking breaks. Should probably let them take breaks in between the school years, I think. Seriously, go take a break. Go. Go get some energy. Get you some energy. Coffee, something. Woman. Sit down, take a break. I'm gonna watch you. Because I want you to actually do something that helps you. Attention. Your finger is not a toothbrush. Look at that. Look at that shooting up mood. Follow up the best selling album in Two Point County history with even more music. Even more. Jasmine Odyssey presents. Okay, getting up there. Even more. Sit and relax, lady. Let's get you up there. Take a break, Barry. Just sending these people on breaks just because they're just... Being little party poopers. Trying to get them above 55% is a little difficult when you don't have enough, but I hired them just, just to cover. Yeah, sit down, Barry. Take a load off. Dropping that average down. There it is. Got it. Perfect. Yes. All right. Three star for Minton University. I want to thank you for watching this episode. I'll see you next time.